Hi guys, I'm Mark Collier from TheOpenAlgorithm.com and today I'm going to be talking about a recent video I watched over on the Google Webmaster Help YouTube channel. So Matt Coates was answering a pretty interesting question. Um, I forget who asked the question, but the question basically was do spelling and grammar count in the Google Algorithm? So basically, do websites that have poor spelling get bumped down the results and do websites that have good spelling you know, get moved up somewhat? And Matt, I thought it was a. It didn't, the question or the answer that he gave didn't really make sense to me. So I'm going to just record this video, basically tell you what I thought about the answer, what I thought Google might be doing wrong, and how their approach to that answer was wrong. And then maybe hopefully we can get some responses from you, either video responses or in the comments about what you think, because this isn't really a video, of a learning video, it's just more of a discussion piece, interesting thought or angle on Google's algorithm and maybe then we can get your thoughts or angles on the Google algorithm as well in the comments. So basically the question was, you know, do Google use spelling and grammar in the Google algorithm? And then, you know, Matt explained that it sort of made sense, you know, people wanted, you know, websites that are spelt reasonably well or have, you know, good enough grammar showing up higher than ones that have poor grammar or poor spelling because it's hard to explain. And then Matt went on to say, you know, the reason he thinks they don't use it is because there's a good few potential errors that would happen if they used it. So, you know, how would Google, uh, you know, figure out what what language it, the page is in? And even if they're able to do that, that there might be some errors in terms of somebody using a French quote from a book or, you know, two languages in the one uh, page or maybe different dialects. Um, so, you know, that's reasonable enough, but I would also say that Google have, you know, one of the best spelling correctors for their search engine, so the software for the spelling wouldn't be difficult, the algorithm for the spelling wouldn't be difficult, and they have enough engineers to be able to figure out those problems, even if there would be minor errors. So basically what Matt says is that instead of using that as a direct factor, it's sort of an indirect factor in that PageRank, or he believes that PageRank, the, the amount of links and the value of those links pointing to pages, decreases for ones with poor spelling. So basically that, you know, pages that are bad grammar or bad spelling get less links to them and therefore, you know, it, they get moved up or down in accordance with their spelling anyway. So there's no need for a Google factor. And that makes sense as well. But okay, then you would also say that there are errors in terms of people might link to a page because it has bad spelling as an example of a page that has bad spelling. So if you're an English teacher, an online English teacher or a tutor, you might link to a page because it has bad spelling as an example to your students that has bad spelling. So technically, you know, the page rank there isn't because it's an excellent page, it's because it's a poor page. So just errors on either side. But the reason I thought the answer was a little bit strange was because in the past Google have, you know, used different factors in accordance with page rank. So instead of just saying that the value of all links is page rank, they also use social media links. So they track things like the number of Twitter mentions, Twitter links, Facebook likes, all sorts of different social media influencing factors in their algorithm. Now if they were to totally trust page rank, surely it should be able to do just as good a job as social media. But they know that there's errors with page rank, there's errors going to be with social media, there's errors going to be with spelling and grammar factors. So they try and combine all the different factors together and find the best results possible. Now they know there are going to be errors, but they assume that if they use two factors instead of one factor, that there's going to be a less percentage error, that there's going to be less you know, errors, fewer errors, because you know the spelling and grammar algorithm might get it wrong, but then the page rank algorithm might get it right. And if the page rank algorithm was getting it wrong, the spelling and grammar algorithm might be able to override it and get it right. So that makes a lot more sense to me. So I don't really understand why Google aren't using spelling and grammar. They understand it makes sense to the user. The factor makes a lot of sense. People want to see you know pages written well, with decent spelling at least, and good grammar. And um, so I was a little bit confused with the answer. And you know whether it's true or not, it doesn't really matter. It's really the approach that Google are taking that they can trust everything to page rank. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, if you're a search engine, you should be trying to use all the factors and you know all the different yeah, resources you have available to you to be able to find the best search results. And Google are recognizing that this provides the best search results. So I'm not really sure exactly why they aren't using spelling and grammar. They know it makes sense. So maybe 
in the comment section you guys can leave your opinions, your thoughts, maybe you can head over to the Google Webmaster Help YouTube channel, I think it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Google Webmaster Help, take a look at the video, I, it's, it's a recent enough video so you'll be able to find it pretty easily, and then maybe come back with your responses, why do you think Google are ignoring spelling and grammar, or whether you think Google shouldn't be ignoring spelling and grammar. So I just thought it was an interesting approach. I thought it would maybe be uh, something that Bing or Yahoo or Bleco or Ask could come out and say, you know, we use spelling and grammar, or you know, this is the reason we don't use spelling and grammar. So I just really like somebody, you know, with a bit more expertise or somebody close to one of the search engines to be able to say maybe, you know, why they wouldn't use it, or you know, just that Google are a bit behind and they haven't really thought about it yet. So maybe you know, somebody who knows that information can leave a comment in the comment section. Or head over to theopenalgorithm.com where we host this video and you'll be able to leave a comment uh, below in the comment section as well or just contact us directly via email. I think it's theopenalgorithm.com forward slash contact or you can just get me by email mark at theopenalgorithm.com. So, you know, I just thought it was an interesting video, an interesting opinion piece, an interesting, you know, thought. I just really like to hear your thoughts, your uh, opinions on it, and whether you know you believe Google are right or wrong in this case. So thanks for watching. You know you can find us over on Twitter or Facebook. On Twitter we're at Open Algorithms, and on Facebook we just have a Facebook page called The Open Algorithm, so you can do a search in Facebook search bar. Or you know the best place to find all our content and information is to head over to theopenalgorithm.com, and there's a whole load of subscription uh, options available to you, or SS or email. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do leave your opinions and your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching, bye.